How did you get back? Uh, we got back by playing very well in the second <coughs> half, Jim. Um, as you say, it was a shock. Two down in, in no time at all. And uh, Swindon obviously felt, I think, that the game was theirs. They, they played fairly well. Our best two chances fell, I think, in the first half, but we didn't take them. But in the second half, it was, it was a complete transformation. We played superbly well, I thought. Um, and yeah. I suppose with 10 minutes to go, it looked as if it was all over anyway. And then six minutes to go, we managed to get one back. And of course, we got the, uh, the winner with just a couple of minutes, uh, the equaliser, I should say. Which created, was thinking. Um, created tremendous excitement, of course, at the end of the game. So much excitement that I think you left a player, didn't you? Yes, we did. Uh, <laughs> this is very embarrassing sitting here because uh, Alan Berkeley, one of our players who, who um, did a fine job today, we, we got carried away. I got uh, onto the coach. We rushed away. Um, got onto the motorway and uh, somebody said, where's, uh, where's Rowdy? This is a name for Alan Berkeley because he's a very quiet lad. And um, there he was, not there. <laughs> so we stopped at the um, service station. I phoned back to Swindon quickly, but uh, nobody would answer the phone there. And when we got back to the club, uh, we had a message that Alan had got a lift back on the um, committee's coach who went up on their yeah. own. Uh, but that's not the end of the, uh, the tale. The committee's coach has broken down as well. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's at Swindon still. Well, let's hope you get him back in time for the replay, which is against uh, Bradford City, of course. Uh, that's right. Are you high hopes for that match? Well, we've got to get this one out of the, the way on Tuesday, obviously. It, it probably won't be any easier than it was today. But uh, we must feel a bit more confident because of the way we played in the second half. And um, Bradford, we will look at and, and make our mind up then when it comes along. Well, Roy, congratulations and all the best to you. I think we'll just confirm for the viewers that you are Elton John's cousin and that he was a page boy at your wedding. Uh, well, I don't know where you got that one, Jim. Yes, he is my cousin, and yes, he was a page boy at, Maybe uh, at the Maybe it was you who discovered his singing. Anyway, thank you very much for coming into the studio you, tonight, Jim. really. And that's the end of a, a very busy and exciting FA Cup day. But uh, don't go quite yet, because we've got the result of our December Goal of the Month competition, which has been judged by Dennis Law. But first of all, here's a reminder of the goals we asked you to choose from, scored by Osgood, Holmes, Lambert, Fidelity, Weller, Toshak and Makari. And earlier this week, Dennis Law went into our Manchester studio for a closer look at the goals. Here's his decision. I think that um, some of the goals that we've seen have been simple, but uh, obviously well looked after. But I must admit that I go for the spectacular goals, I think as most viewers do do. Um, Toshak's goal and McCarry's goal were very similar, they were very good goals. But uh, not biased here, but uh, being a Manchester United ex-player, I think I'll go for Lou McCarry's goal. Well, Lou McCary, that's my third choice. And uh, I think you must agree that it was a very uh, well-taken goal. But what is most important, really, is that Lou McCary was very, very sharp. And he turned round there and, as you can see, he's obviously whacked into the top of the net. Here is another spectacular goal, which uh, I put as number two, uh, John Pedelty of Ipswich. This is Mills. Weimark had pulled out for it. That was Pedelty! John Pedelty is my number two choice, and uh, as you can see here, there's a long ball from Mills, which uh, Weimark gets up really well. He heads down a tremendous ball. Uh, Pedelty never even thinks of stopping it and hammers a tremendous shot straight past Harvey uh, for the winning goal for Ipswich. But my choice for goal of the month must go to Keith Weller of Leicester City. This looks a very simple goal, really. There's a corner from the right-hand side. Weller gets over the ball tremendously well and it hammers a fierce shot straight into the roof of the net. And being an ex-professional, and professionals obviously watch the show, we must admit that uh, there can only be one winner in this uh, goal of the month. Weller! So that's Dennis's verdict. First goal, E, scored by Keith Weller for Leicester against Newcastle. Second goal, D, scored by John Pedelty of Ipswich. And third goal, G, scored by Lou Macari for Manchester United. And this is the first postcard we found.